This was supposed to be Indian cricket's greatest party. The coming together of the finest collection of one-day players India has had for a long time simply because of the dominant nature with which they played cricket. Only one team ever had played cricket like this before and that was Australia almost 15 years ago. To imagine that India would dominate sides like that, win 10 in a row, was quite unthinkable. And then to come to Ahmedabad, what a moment that would have been. It pains me to say that would have been. And as I saw pictures of the crowd, as I saw them leaving, as I saw close-ups of television cameras, it was to see the anguish on people's faces. And anguish is the right word because it was almost as if the celebration was there and suddenly the cops came in and said, you don't have a license to celebrate today anymore. It was, it was that heartbreaking. But I hope nobody reacts just to a final performance because this was, as I said, one of the best performances that I have seen from Indian cricket. You see whether it was Rohit Sharma, whether it was Shubman Gill, and I'm just going down the batting order. Virat Kohli making more than 700 runs, bold attacking leadership, Shreyas Iyer coming of age, wonderful performances by KL Rahul, how good was he behind the stumps, the spinners bowling so well, and the best fast bowling trio to have played for India. It wasn't just one aspect of the game. You saw on fast pitches against Sri Lanka, had them down 14 for 6. You saw them on slightly slowish turning pitches and there were Jadeja and Kuldeep doing it. You saw them when they were 2 for 3 against Australia and there were KL Rahul and Virat Kohli doing it. You wondered if they were going to get the big scores and there was Rohit Sharma finding his way through the power play, powering his way through the power play. You wondered if you had a keeper, whether the balance was right and there was KL Rahul picking up catches low on uh, towards his left. You wondered if after Hardik Pandya, India's balance would go awry and then in came Mohammad Shami to have the tournament of his life. So every time India looked like they might have an issue, somebody rose to the occasion and so anguish there is, sadness there is. I was just hoping to be able to come and watch an India World Cup when I came even though I was unwell, but this is not about me, it's about all of you. This is just one of those moments, but don't ever let the result of the final colour the fact that this was a fantastic performance by India.